50 times have you been saying this? How many other people are there besides me in your fucking life? Everybody's making these tweets and Facebook posts about new here, new me. Shut up. <laughs> You're still on meth, Cheryl. Because you guys are non-vegan, meat-eating, cannibal, scaredy cats. You know what I'm saying? Alan Taylor, we back in the broadcast room yet again <laughs> with another one. So, you know what I'm saying? Let's check this out real quick. Like talking about, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, Miss I am Shamika, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I mean, uh, oh, have mercy. I can barely pronounce this young lady. Hey, 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 you know, hey, you know, ain't nobody perfect out here. But you know what I'm saying? The thing of this, uh, the thing of this video here is, you know what I'm saying? I got this off the TikTok joint and, uh, yeah. She uh, basically, you know, wanted to present something that uh, she presented a panel to where they were talking about uh, deleting black male babies. And, uh, you know, we all know, you know, it, you know, all these uh, these black women out here that that want and feel like, you know, deleting black male babies. You're also deleting yourself. I mean, like so what the French toast is there to think about? I mean, I don't know. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully, uh, these individuals get their brain cells together and uh, actually think things through, you know, before they start, you know, uh, which they already started, because let's just keep this real. The abortion rate in the black community is extremely high. It's extremely high. So what the French toast is that? I'm just going to keep this 100. So, yeah, we got to, you know what I'm saying, a little hot joint real quick. And, you know what I'm saying, uh, we about to dive off into it. You know what I'm saying? And, uh... Yeah, you know, so let's show out. Let's go. Let's do this. Yesterday talking about how a certain content creator was talking about aborting black boys. Watch this clip for more context. And the only reason I support um, aborting a black child when it comes to it being male is because when i look at the black community and the problems in it it's associated with males and male pathology when you talk about violence it's associated with the males when you talk about the you know uh b women being forced upon it's it's the males when you talk about drugs it's the males when you talk about the fatherless children it's the males every single problem that is happening in the black community you point to the males and then you have the culprit so so hold on here hold on here you know give me this moment in time so it's every single problem in the black community has to do with the black man. Every single problem. So there's no females out here on drugs. There's no women out here doing dangerous crimes. There's no women out here doing anything other than being these pamper princesses want to sit at the house all day, eat snacks, talking about they uh, uh, uh they housewives and shit. What the hell you talking about? So what the French toast is there to think about? Then you want to sit here and say you support the deletion of black male babies? Who the hell are you? This is a shame. This is sad. How are you going to want to delete the, the individual that actually uh, uh, cares the seed that gives you life? Well, that makes no sense to me. To think about? That makes no sense to me. That makes no sense. You know, and, and individuals want to sit around here and think that this type of shit is fucking funny. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe you do think this is funny. Maybe you do think this is uh, uh, something to laugh at, uh, or something that our women 
as black people that our black women we have a portion of the i'm not saying it's all i'm not saying it's all because of course it's not of course it's not that's a given but we do have a certain segment a certain portion a certain amount of black women sitting around here talking about deleting black male babies and what are you talking about you come from a black male you dingbat so what the french toast is there to think about you're making no sense hold on we're going back video yesterday talking about how a certain content creator was talking about aborting black boys watch this clip for more context and the only reason i support um aborting a black child when it comes to it being male is because when i look at the black community and the problems in it it's associated with males and male pathology okay how is how is hold on hold on here how is all of the, the the problems in the black community associated with black males? You know what I'm saying? So so women don't have not an ounce, not not a single ounce. So what the French toast is there to think the problems to play in here. So so this don't play a key. Honey. Hold on, my bad. That was the wrong one. Hold up. Just saying, we just gonna sit up here and and be sure that we out here uh, three or four in it up. Okay, she three or four in it up clearly, allegedly. All right, but damn them kids, they good. They gonna take care of themselves because, like I said, they think as long as the kid is alive, I'm a good mama. Yeah, you know, the, uh, some of the most of these black women out here three or four in it up. So th that's not part of the problem. I mean, you know, hey, hold on. <laughs> So that's not part of the problem at all. Are we just gonna throw that out the window? Yeah, just just let them just let them get on their videos and get walked like dogs by these uh, uh, these dudes on chains with these videos and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Okay, okay. Just let them get out here and, and get on Instagram all day, every day, uh, uh, showing they little uh, twat all over the place. You know what I'm saying? Where half of them barely washing their ass in the first damn place. Yeah, let's just go there. Let's just go there. Damn it, I went there. You know, yeah, that that's fine. That's fine. Let them let them just go out here and you know what I'm saying to delete all the babies they want to. You know, just have all this free sex and and this and that. They just <laughs> just out here doing anything. Just open their legs for any damn body, and then want to blame all the decent individuals what for their fuck ups and their damn problems. You know, now you want me as a taxpayer citizen to pay for your shit. Why you sitting on your ass every day? I don't think so. <laughs> Somebody need to put these dingbats to work out what here. What the French toast is there to think about? I think is I think it need to be mandatory. You know what I'm saying? For a woman to even get some some type of child support, that she also has a job. You've chosen to not be married. You've chosen to have a child out of wedlock. Now at the end of the day. You've chosen the man that you decide to sleep with, just like he's chosen you to sleep with, too. You know what I'm saying? This works both ways now. This works both ways. It's not on just one side. This works both ways. So y'all have chosen each other to have those that uh, a night of fun or a week of fun or, or, you know, a couple of months of fun and things like that. And then, yeah, a child comes up out the situation. Now, all of a sudden, everybody want to sit around here ducking and running and hide. She want to delete the baby. He want to run off talking about, uh, I, you know, uh, it's not my responsibility and this and that, or my wallet, my choice, all this type of dumb ass shit. What the hell is wrong with you people out there? But y'all want to sit around here and want somebody to have some type of sympathy or empathy for you individuals when it's none that needs to be had. Damn dingbats. It makes no fucking sense. <laughs> <laughs> Damn dingbats, man. This shit don't make no fucking sense, man. Come on, man. Come on. When you talk about violence, it's associated with the males. When you talk about the, you know, so hold on, hold on here. Women don't get violent at all. This now, this is obviously new information for me. I, I you know, like I, I guess women don't get violent. You know, 
you know, all these stories we've been seeing lately, uh, mothers throwing their toddlers over the bridges in the in the oceans of water, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> what else? The the woman down in Louisiana that, that basically uh, 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 stabbed her children to death, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and the father had to run it, burst in and, and carry the children to the hospital and things like that. Uh, what else? Uh, let's see. Uh, man, God, it's countless. It's, it's countless events that are going on where women are just out here losing their damn mind. What the French toast is there to think about? And we just supposed to be okay with the, oh, she's a woman. Where's the sympathy? Oh. <laughs> and you run out here deleting the innocent babies. Who cares about you? What the French toast Who cares? is there to think about? I'm supposed to have some sympathy for a broad that can't even grow up and be woman enough to take care of her children because she did whatever. The, 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 oh, she has mental issues and all this and that. And all her mental issues and man, what we man, we all got some type of mental issue that we live it on the same planet. What the French toast is there to think about. But me as a man, yeah, I'm supposed to suck it up. Oh, 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 you're a man. Damn your mental issues. <laughs> suck it up. Be a man. And what the women always say, well, a man's supposed to, this and that, and, well, a man's supposed to be this, a man's supposed to be that. Man, what the hell are you talking about, you dingbat? You know what I'm saying? What you supposed to do? Other than run around here putting men in, in, in fucked up positions and, 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 and deleting babies. Because <laughs> you're not woman enough to be an actual decent human being. This is sad. You know, and it, it's, it's no wonder men are walking away from marriages in a large number. It's no wonder that the, the marriage rates are down. Who wants to be intertwined with you type of people with this type of thinking? I don't know whether or not I'm gonna wake up tomorrow and you in the kitchen with a butcher knife trying to delete my babies. Are you kidding me? So what the French toast is there to think about? And I'm supposed to, what? What? Man, come on. Uh, be, women being forced upon it's it's the males when you talk about drugs it's the males when you talk about the fatherless children it's the males what you mean fatherless children how you doing that when either you're kicking the male out the house or either you're choosing the wrong male to sleep with in order to have a baby by you know what I'm saying let's just go there <laughs> Oh, because the solid man that's actually got something going for himself, that actually has structure in his life, that's not going to tolerate your ding bad ass bullshit. It, it, you know, he don't tickle your fancy. I know why, because he's not going to tolerate your shit. <laughs> your disrespect. He's not going to tolerate your fucking foolishness. He's not going to tolerate you treating his children any kind of way. He's not going to tolerate your lack of respect for having family. What the That's what he's not going to tolerate. Every single problem that is happening in the black community, you point to the males and then you have the culprit. And this all so seem to do. Every single little problem that pop up, you want to point to the male. Oh my goodness, it's raining today. That's all black men's fault. What the, what the hell are you talking about? about? You people in the 21st century who have forgotten what it means to have good families, who have forgotten what it means to have good love, stability, honor, trust, any type of fraction of what it means to be a decent human being. You're driven by your emotions. You're driven by nonsense. You're also driven by uh, social media crap that these people put out here to brainwash you and make you feel stupid, which you, you know, half you are stupid so in the first the damn place. To think about. Somebody need to bring back some insane asylums. I guarantee you, they will work very well in the 21st century. <laughs> Man, 
you know, I just find this crazy right here. You know what I'm saying? You got Cynthia G up here. We already know she's a straight black man hater. She hates black men to her core. Hey, whatever dude is sleeping with her, he need to run and get to the chopper. I mean, a fucking sap. So what the French toast is there to think about? She no good for nobody. She not even no, I mean, I'm talking about she not even no good for the roaches to eat after she perish. I'm just going to keep it real. She no good for nothing. You know, let's not even put her in the ground. Let's cremate her and throw her in the ocean. Because, I mean, you know, she not even good to fertilize the damn soil. It's a, it's a, hey, I said it. I showed the hell did. The hell you talking about? You know, this is just ridiculous out here. You know what I'm saying? And it's, of course, it's hurtful. Of course, it's sad to see, you know what I'm saying, a, a certain segment of uh, black women that actually, you know, want the deletion of uh, black men, black male babies and things like that. And for, you know, and it's like, it's no outrage. Nobody's sitting around here, you know, now if I was to say delete all black female babies, oh, we'll have a problem up in this thing. It's World War, it's World War three, four, five. Uh, uh, we, we breaking out tanks. Somebody sent some nuclear bombs. Uh, 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 this and that. Oh, he, oh, he hate his mama. Uh, uh, all this. All I'm telling you. And y'all know this the truth. Y'all know it's the truth. But you know, it seems to be no problem when black women come up here and actually, you know, what I'm saying, send out warning shots. They sending out death threats against black male. Babies. So what the French toast is there to think about? Okay. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Cool and dandy. But I'm guaranteeing you, though, as we start to leap forth through time in this 21st century, that ding bad attitude that you got is not going to be tolerated no more. The stupidity that you're dealing with is not going to be tolerated anymore. We are no longer going to stand by and allow the, the, uh, some of you women to act this way, to be this way, to send out these type of messages without any type of rebuttal. Screw you and the horse you rode in on, so Dean Bat. French toast is there to think about. You know what I'm saying? Hold up. Want answers? I think I'm entitled. You want answers? I want the truth. You can't handle the truth. We use words like honor, code, loyalty. We use these words as the backbone of a life spent defending something. You use them as a punchline. Oh, what is your damaged muscle head? You stupid? You ignorant or you just plain old deaf? I don't know whether you notice or not, but you only have your fucking casino because I made that possible. Right. I'm what counts out here. Make your fucking country clubs or your fucking TV show. Oh, oh, this is a chopper! So what the French toast is there to think about? Y'all need to run and get to the chopper out there. You know what I'm saying? I find this very sad, very sad, that we have a segment of our own African-American women that wish deletion upon us as men. But at the same time, though, too, I'm also sitting here like, how can you wish deletion upon us? But, you know, then that means you won't exist either. And what the French toast is there to think about? So the logic and the thinking process that these women are having is totally stupid. It's totally obsolete. It's totally out the way. How can you wish death upon the man that give you life, but at the end of the day, you're sitting around here, you know, fat eating your strumpets uh, 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 with your diabetes having ass, you know what I'm saying? High cholesterol, sitting around looking fat, eating up Cheetos all day, you know what I'm saying? Talking about, yeah, we, yeah, 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 delete them, delete them, delete them. That means you're going to be deleted what too, Dean Bat. What the is there to think about? Ain't nobody else on the planet gonna be able to make you, you fool. What the hell you talking about? It's just ridiculous, man. It is ridiculous. <laughs> but it is what it is, though. You know what I'm saying? And obviously, these particular individuals have made their choices in life, and they choose to, you know what I'm saying, want to sit here and say, you know what I'm saying, delete all male babies and and, and delete all, you know, uh, black men and this and that. Okay. Okay. You want us gone? 
you want us gone? Guaranteed, you're going to. What the French toast is there to think about? What? Oh, oh, oh! You think white? You think the white man gonna save you? Hell no! He can't save you because he can't make you. You ding that ass bitch. What the French toast is there to think about? You fucking fool! He can't make you. Only we can. And that's how God wanted it to be. <laughs> Let me drink some of this ambrosia real quick to clear my damn throat. Dealing with these fools out here. Man, it's a shame. It is a shame that we're in this, this situation here with our own black women, our own sisters, or quote unquote sisters, or however you want to put it up. <laughs> or whatever. But it is what it is, though, man. Hey, shout out to all my subscribers out there. If you're new to the channel, please hit that like, share, subscribe button. Make sure that you hit that bell at all times that you'll be notified whenever I decide to post things. Real talk. What the French toast is there to think about? And hey, though, like I always say about this time, that, my friends, is the bottom line. be strong and independent and not have a husband there and have a man's protection be under a man's covering that is your problem my husband signed up to protect me not you he signed up to protect me and the children he is not jumping in front of a bullet he is not putting himself in danger to make sure you are okay so he could possibly lose his life and leave me alone with the kids. Men are simultaneously being asked to surpass Superman, right? Like, I need you making more money, I need you taller, I need you more muscular, I need you more charismatic, I need you more interesting, more multifaceted. I want you to be Tupac with a PhD. While simultaneously, we're seeing women being allowed or being championed for mediocrity. Ah, uh, what's the conversation? Yeah. What's the conversation? Keep your hands on. What's the conversation? Keep your hands on. Don't touch me, bro. What's the conversation? Move, bro. Uh, I'm trying to get ready for words, man. You're saying that you're you're a good girlfriend. You feel like you're a good girlfriend. What are you doing to be a good girlfriend? And I feel like a lot of women nowadays is always about what a man can do for them, what a man can provide to them. What can you do in return? And vagina is not doing anything. A vagina is not, I'm, I'm sorry to say, your vagina is not valuable.
remember whether you noticed or not. I'm only here for the deal because I made that possible. I'm with cows out here. Hey, yo, fucking country clubs for your fucking TV show. 